Hello everybody and welcome to Roguelike Roulette. This is a new series on my channel where every Friday, Saturday and Sunday I play a roguelite. It adds a nice little amount of variety to the channel. I'm sure you guys have seen the little introduction video or the video on Dungreed that I did yesterday. But yes, this is going to be a new little series. Adds a nice little variety, allows, allows you to play some new games. Going to be cycling games every now and again. But the three that we're going to be playing at the minute is Dungreed, Wizard of Legend and Dead Cells. So yes, I'm, I'm really hoping you guys are into this. So let's get right into it. We're going to play some Wizard of the Legend. A new DLC just came out for it recently. I say DLC, it's more of a uh, major update. That added a whole new floor, and new bosses, all lightning themed to the game. So I'm super excited to get into this. I have played a little bit of this game before, but I'm super, super, super ready to get back into it again. Um... When I played it, I only played around four or five hours, so I kind of know the basic controls, but other than that, I'm a little bit uh, unknown considering I haven't played since two of the major updates came out, the wind update and the lightning update. Welcome to the Museum of La Lanova. Here's a complimentary air burst dash arcana for your convenience. So if you don't know this game already, this is a roguelike that's all to do with magic and cards, and it's, it's a super cool, pixel-based, beautiful game. I really, really like it. Hello, hello, Cory. Hey there. A couple of can of to try out. While these replicas won't have any real effect, you can use them in the museum to interact with exhibits. Try giving those training dummies a good one too. Ooh, so we've got we've got like a little dragon fire. We've also got a normal hit. Boom, 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 boom. And then does that dash do damage as well? I can't remember. Doesn't look like it. But we can give him a proper old one-two there, look at that. Boom, 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 we're getting crits and stuff. I'm liking this. Can we push them out of the exhibit? I kind of want to. Push them out. Yeah, we can. And then we've got, like, a special. Oh my god, how far can I push these? I've got it caught in a corner. <laughs> oh my god, I can push it so far. I'm bringing this with me. It's my friend now. We call him Steve the Dummy. Steve the Wooden Dummy. Now, this is definitely not the gameplay intended for this game, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm just bringing this as far as I can. <laughs> We're on our way, Steve. Let's go. <laughs> Why can you bring it this far? Oh, I've went around the wrong way. It's going to take us so much longer. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? All of you are asking right now. We're just going to play some nice little Wizard Legend now. We're going to play Dummy Simulator 2015. I don't know when this game came out. 2017, I think it came out. Hey there. You alright? Aww, oh, our friend's gone. Welcome to the Signature Account Exhibit. Try this one out. Okay, okay. Exploding Fireball. Q. Boom. Okay, so... The way that Signature Arcana work is they have a normal attack, so you fire it, it's just a fireball. But then, once you get enough damage done, so actually if we go and damage these guys, you'll see it activate eventually. We'll get like a little shadow effect behind us. Let's see if I can get it activated normally here. It might not work, there you go. And then you get that little thing behind you and it powers up that ability. And allows it to do special abilities like that. So that one does like a three fireball thing. It's really cool. And here's some of the bosses. These are the three that were in the game to start with. Um, and more have been added. There's been two new floors added. And there's only ever three floors. And then the final one that's always the same. But uh, they randomize. And like you have different elemental weaknesses and strengths and things like that. Those chaotic trials were an annual invitation event. Administered by the... Like... Lan Lan I don't know how to read. Lanovia... Council of Magic. These powerful wizards were masters of their chosen element and fashioned the trials for contestants to undertake. Right, let's go. I don't know if I ought to be playing this con on controller or as I am now, but we'll see. We'll see. Right, the chaotic, tri the chaos trials featured a variety of formidable foes conjured from chaos energy. Some of these conjured enemies would also be imbued with the elements to pose an even greater threat. Okay. Hello, sir. These rogues turn invisible. How are you supposed to fight against that? I'm sure I'll manage. Chaos Arcana was specialized Arcana crafted directly from Chaos Energies that require great skill and finesse to activate. Only wizards who successfully complete the Chaos Trials were entrusted with the possession of Chaos Arcana. 
However, very little is known about the use of these arcana as none of these legendary wizards are around today. I will become one of these legendary wizards. I assure you that. Welcome to the Chaos Trials Interactive course. This course will give you an idea of what it's like to take on a Chaos Trial. Good luck. I know you can do it. This is really cool that it's like a museum exhibit. This is like... Okay, so we just hit chests to open them. Freezing Sprite. So we've got like a little Sprite behind us that's going to help us out in attacking things. Nice, nice bit of combat. Oh, that fire's beautiful. Okay. So some of these, some of these enemies have like pretty cool tells. Like, let's see if this guy's gonna do it. There you go. Look, he does like a little red thing above his head, and his little red thing. There you go. And we got ourselves an E. We got a freeze, a freeze my bob thingy. Okay, this is gonna be powerful against these guys. Fire's gonna be pretty weak against them, I think. I don't actually know how it works in terms of elementals, like. Do we, do we do less damage? It doesn't seem like we're doing less damage. Or do we only deal less damage to enemies that are actually elemental fire? Or is it just any enemy that's in the fire area? Also, pushing things in pits seems mighty effective. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big, big boy. Whoa. That was a perfect time to use that. Whoa. Okay, these seem, these seem really strong. Gotta be really careful around them. They took a lot of health off of me. Overkill. Victory! And we get some healing there. Very nice. More healing. More healing. Give me my cookies. Give me my cookies. Thank you, thank you. Lovely. Back up to full health. Right. So there you go. We've completed that. What are these people saying? I'm so hungry after that interactive course. I'm going for a sushi dinner, dinner course after this. Okay, fair enough. On display are what some of the relics that were used by Wizard and Chaos Trials. Okay. And we've got some costumes that are used by them as well, wearing cloaks. Wizarding cloaks used in the Chaos Trials were optimized for quick movement and arcana use. Many of these cloaks were even enchanted by skilled tailors to have a variety of potent effects. Wizards entering the Chaos Trials often had um, grim grimmeries full of arcana in their possession. However, as only the only one account of each class could be used in the trial, they were required to fashion a limited hand that suited their strengths. Okay, what's this? Insignia of Legend was a mark of distinction granted only to those wizards who successfully overcame the Chaos Trials. Other than its ceremonial use, not much else is known about the relic other than it was crafted directly from Chaos Energy. Ooh. Ooh. Was that meant to happen? What's going on here? Oh! Hello? Pardon me, are you alright? That looked like quite a tumble there. Phew, glad to see you're okay. Welcome to your new home, away from home. As a wizard invited to participate in the Chaos Trials, your accommodations and our service are provided by the Magical Council. Also included is one of the time stipends of 100 Chaos Gems. Okay. You'll have to excuse the mess. We weren't expecting any guests so soon. But not to worry at all. We'll have everything sorted out shortly. In the meantime, let's do a round of the introductions. <laughs> okay. A pleasure to meet you. This is Termi. I'm Termi, and I'll be cataloging all our carne you come across. Let's pursue through your gallery now. Okay, so we can select that and take a look at different arcana that we have. So if right now we only have one of each. Oh no, we have two of these. So we could go with Rebounding Icicles or we could go with the Dragon Arc. Let's try out the Rebounding I Icicles, shall we? And our signature, we only have that. Oh no, we have Rebounding Icicles as a signature as well. Actually, okay, then let's go with back with that. And then go with Rebounding Icicles as our signature. That seems pretty decent, doesn't it? Cool, nice one. And who are you, sir? Mimi. Hey, I'm Mimi, and I'll be snacking on all the relics you find. But don't worry, they'll be safe and ready for whenever you need them. Okay, so right now we only have one relic. And it's this little heart thing here. Friendship bracelet. Increase damage and movement speed when you're with a true friend. I'm assuming that is only usable when you're um, playing co-op. A ticket to Nova's Museum newly opened Chaos Trial exhibit. 
Okay, we also have this as well. We'll take the freezing spray because that's the only combat based one we have. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ward and all of your enchanted attire will be in my cha charge. Okay. Now let's see what fashionable outfits I have ready for you. Just the two. I'm going to go with a classic red. A classic red's good enough for me. Okay, it seems that our magical brushes aren't really letting us do much here. I'm versed the enchanted looking glass. Just stop on by and I'll tell you how stylish you're looking. Very nice. And now we can make our way out. And actually get into a run here. Okay, so straight off we have a hundred gems. Oh, hello. These are some of the finest relics in... L I need to have know how to pronounce that. Lan Lanova. It's got to be Lanova, hasn't it? Um, just remember me the mobile company, Lanova. Um, and a worthy addition to any wizard's collection. Each of these priceless unique relics was painstakingly crafted to perfection. Oh my god. These fantastic arcana are my latest work. Each one of them is guaranteed to get you fired up. Okay. Bold with your outfit, I can add my own special twist. The Savile Spe- The Savile Special? Oh god, that's not, a, that's not a good name for someone. For those of you that don't know, Jimmy Savile was a well-known pedophile in the UK, so that's kind of put a weird turn on the Savile Special. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why I brought that up, but that, that just that, that just made me think of bad things. Um, it will remove your outfit currently enchanted and swift it. Okay. Okay. It'll be five gems to alter your outfit. Do we have a deal? Okay. A perfect fit, even with a cancel, would be envious of your new look. Keep in mind this alteration is temporary and will wear off when you change outfits. Okay, so what have we done to that outfit there? I, I, like, he said he'd make it special. Um, we've also got these here, so increase gold gain, increase gem gain, increase run speed, increase evade chance, increase max health, decrease cooldowns. So because we have a hundred, it might be well worth going for one of those first. What, what are these like? Adds a chance to poison foes. Uh, defeating an enemy by pushing them into pits grants a small heal. Allows you to destroy enemy projectiles with melee based kakana. Uh, do you know what? Hello, Lunar Knight. Halt! Only wizards who have been invited to participate in the Chaos Gems are allowed to pass this point. Talents on the point of your arrival. You are free to proceed. Thank you. Right, I'm actually going to go and buy that there. Um, let me just go and check what the... What this thing is. Oh, I need to find the mirror. Where's the mirror thing? Hello? What's this? Oh, and welcome here to participate in Chaos Trials. Right, let's let's go back and find the mirror thing, because I want to see what was done to our, um... I'm guessing this takes us home? Yeah. There you are. It sure is. Not now, okay. So, apparently that did nothing, from what I can tell. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what I gained from that. But, increase money gain and increase gem gain. Oh, also, we can re-roll... The um the things that we purchased to start with. Please don't say I've accidentally re-rolled out of that one. Oh no, I haven't. Right, I'm gonna go with that. It's it's cost us a lot, but getting increased gem gain and gold gain right off the bat, also looking as stylish as this, seems very, very useful. But there you go. Into our first run, and we have the fire stage to start. Okay. I will be garbage at this game to start with, just so you know. I am not ready. Okay, as you can see, there's pretty good tails on most enemies. We're just going to kill, kill these guys with basics for, for now. Get used to it all. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so, we can... Space is just going to be normal. Okay, we found our shop. While we're in runs, we can buy some of these. So, we can actually upgrade it. If you see things with a blue edge, that means it's uh, our same dash we already have, but upgraded. Um... Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so that seems like really good for doing stuff like this. Oh no, I'm I'm fucking this up real bad. Okay, yeah, we pushed like half of them off there. Okay, we we bad right now. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get to use this. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, these are mimics. What the heck? Oh, I'm already shitting myself. 
That seems incredibly powerful. Wow. Okay. Okay, so that one wasn't a Mimic. It was just one of them that was a Mimic. <laughs> Completely missed. So it seems that using Fire here is going to be relatively useless. Which is a shame, considering it's the what we started with. Okay, this seems... This seems well difficult. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I'm I'm finding this difficult already. Get a bit of gold, a bit of gems. We can indeed fall in pits, so we've got to be careful of that. That seems super powerful. Okay, so there is some b basic enemies in here as well, as well as the fire ones. We want to take out the, the basic one first. It seems that we can use the um, the Q ability as a pretty effective stun. It's just to get enemies off our back for a little bit. Okay, we've got a big boy in here. He does not seem to, to, to take very kindly to us at all. We're going to have to stay out of the way of him. He seems like he's pretty slow, though. Yeah, he, he seems pretty slow indeed. Okay, they do not get knocked back. It seems that larger scale enemies like this cannot be knocked around quite as easily. Which is fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. That should deal a bit more damage to them, guys. Yeah, that seems really good. There you go. It seems we can use our uh, dragon earlier than it says that it's available. Because it's got like a, as you can see here, an 8 charge meter. So we can use it when it's full. Or we can actually use it a little earlier and use it when there's just a few dragons available. Which seems like it could be useful. Uh, so now we're on to 270 gold. Um, dash forward on a burst of air. Is that not what we already have though? Um, oh, enhanced. Creates shockwaves that buffers foes in your path. Let's go for that, shall we? Upgrade that. Okay, so it creates like a little sonic boom as we as we move along here. Um, we can trade out our basic. Rush forward while unleashing a flute of fury. Okay. Um, summon stone seekers that Herman and stomp nearby enemies. Okay, we'll look for some other stuff first. They're both on sale though, so they might be worth going for. Okay, I, I have made a mistake here in... In everything, in every aspect of my life. It seems that we can stop that a little earlier as well, which is nice. Okay, yeah, that's a really effective way of stopping enemies from attacking. Oh my god. Boom! Okay, that missed everything. Ow! Okay, we're losing a lot of health here. We definitely need to find some way of healing up. I think you can go to shops and heal up if I remember correctly. So we'll hopefully find one of those pretty soon. Oh, yes. This is so powerful. We've got a really good build to start off with here, to be honest. I'm assuming that you always start with this build. This is dangerous. I don't particularly like that. Okay, that little, that little thing that's freezing things for us seems really good as well. Okay, that was close. Ow! I got hit for quite a lot there. Look at that. Beat him up. Very, very nice. Uh, we have a few more enemies here. Okay, I don't know what this guy does. He seems to be firing enemies at us, which is annoying, but we managed to kill him pretty quick. Seems that the, the like, black goopy guys, the guys made of like, black sludge, are, like, super weak enemies. <gasps> Oh, by the way, this game has a great risk-reward curse system. I really like it. It has these little care shops with cursed items. Uh, regenerate health while at critically low HP. Max health is reduced. Increase overall signature charge gained from attacks. Lose all signature charge when hurt. Um, immediately pressing forward into an attack will guard the attack and stun neighbor enemies. You recover slower from attacks. Oh, that seems really difficult. Um, that one there seems pretty good. I'm going to take that one. So basically, we can gain our signature much, much quicker, but as soon as we take damage, we lose all of its current charge, which means that it's going to be diff like more difficult to build it up. How do I open my map, by the way? I'll just M. Um, there's one way we haven't been here, apparently. Oh, it's down that way. Okay, I see. Um... But yeah, so we are going to like have a harder time of keeping our signature up, but it does mean we're going to gain it quicker, which is definitely more favourable for me. If we can just not get hit for a little bit and gain our signature, what the hell is this thing? Oh my god. I don't like the, the ones that guard themselves in fire. Ooh. 
There we go. Look, look, how, look how fast we charge that there. That seems super useful. Like, that, that seems like one of the better cast items for a newer player. Um, so we definitely want a healing potion. Heal up to full. Um, and then we've got 179 to buy a relic. Increase resistance to lightning based attacks. Taking damage increases your max HP up to a certain limit. Adds chance to slow foes. Increases lightning damage. Let's just go for the adds chance to slow foes. That seems really useful. We've already bought the healing. I don't actually know how much healing one potion gives you. So maybe I should have waited there. Don't know if Farrell's with his money. We'll chest it out. But yeah, I don't, um, I don't know if that was the best idea there. But Okay, this guy's big. Let's, um... Ooh, the slowing chance seems really good. Okay, we can destroy their, their, their projectiles pretty easily, to be honest. Yeah, this slowing and stunning effect seems really good. Okay, this guy doesn't seem too bad at all as well. He's pretty slow. Of course, that's not going to be the most effective against him because it can't pull him around, but it's still very, very good. So far, so good. Another thing I know about this game is that there's like four different shop areas you have to find. If you find them all, it um, increases, oh sorry, decreases the amount of ads the boss spawns with. So it makes the boss a little easier if you fully clear the floor beforehand. So that's always something we've got to be thinking of. Okay, nice getting a chest there. It's really nice. I could give us healing. Not that we need the healing too badly. Okay, so here we go. So we found all four of the areas, meaning the boss is easier. We can also use these to quite easily teleport to the areas. So if we wanted to go all the way to the boss and then go for healing, we could do that. And that would be a pretty decent tactic. Here's our first boss. Bosses are randomized per floor. So we'll see what we get here. This is a new boss. I've not seen this one before. I say new. I don't know how new it is. But it's definitely newer than the last time I played. So, getting our special here is going to be, for one, less useful because we can't drag the boss around. Or it's also just going to be harder in general because, obviously, um... Okay, getting rid of that guy's really nice. There you go, getting rid of that guy's even better. Obviously, um, because we're going to be getting hit more because I don't know how the hell this guy attacks. Most bosses work on a, on a pattern-based thing. While they're glowing yellow, just don't attack them. As soon as they're not yellow, go in front of strike. That's normally how it works with bosses in this game. Usually, that makes them a bit easier, but they're still not exactly easy because you've got to learn how the uh, how their attacks work. Okay, that's all of good damage. Okay, nice, we got him. Got our first boss there. So now we get our big old chest here, which is going to give us some healing, a bunch of gems. Seems that the extra gems are definitely helping out, the extra money especially. And then we can go down to the next floor. Maybe most times we want to be waiting until we finish the first floor on the boss, if we can, before we buy healing. Because we seem to overheal a little bit there. But I think there's two floors per element area. Okay, this is kind of a hard room. Oh, shit. I'm going to do this and then do that. Oh, that was close. There you go. You can, that's really useful. We can just pull enemies into the pit. Look at that. That's really useful, actually. Thought the sort of chest up here. Nice. We're really careful not to fall into pits. It's super easy to fall into them in this game. There you go. Soon as killing them guys super quick. So as you can see, some areas don't actually lock you in, and some do. This area seems bountiful with pits. Okay, these guys cannot be pushed around. We've got to be careful here. Oh, I fell in. Oh, no, they can. They can be pushed in. I don't know what happened the first time there. Maybe it's just they can't be knocked back by our Q attack. That was very, very successful, though. Don't think we had anything else over there, did we? Oh, shit. I was pausing to look at my map. I didn't realize they still shot at us. Darn. I can't just teleport straight to that, sadly. Surprised there wasn't a shop back that way. Right. No combat in this room. This is a pretty big room for no combat. Right, so we've got our first relic shop. So we got this increased armor. I don't exactly know how armor works in this game. That sounds useful. Um, we've got increased overall signature charge gain from attacking enemies. That could be really powerful. Reduce all cooldowns. Automatically enhance basic, basic arcana. I'm going to go for um, this one here. The family seal. Because we already have one really good way of... Um, of increasing our signature charge. If we can then increase it again. I wonder if there's any way to take a look at how fast it charges. It doesn't seem to be. 
Uh, okay, so this gives us 33% charge, and this gives us an extra 15% charge. Okay, so that's pretty quick. We should be getting a lot of that kind of charge. As long as we don't get hit, we should be charging it relatively quickly here. Okay, I immediately get hit there. Yeah, okay, that should hopefully charge up pretty quick here. This is an annoying room. Got him there. Okay, we fr froze a few of those, which is nice. There, yeah, okay, our, our signature's charging so quick here. This is really nice. Especially considering how well it does at CCing the enemies and keeping them at bay, sort of making sure they don't fuck us up. <laughs> this is a pretty good build we got going on right now. Like, considering this is our first run, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how well this is going. Okay, good, good, good. Take that guy out. Okay, that did not take him out. I thought that would have taken him out. It did not. These archers, you got like a sort of time between each dodge. You've got to really time it correctly, otherwise you end up completely missing. It does seem that they don't track you all the way until the end of the shot. They only track you for a little bit of it, so you do have time to move without dashing. Okay. Oh shit, I did not realize it dragged both of them that close to me. Can we gain signature charge from using our Q, or does that reset it? I don't actually know that. We can, we can. Lovely. Okay, so we can go with enhanced fireball. Um, yeah, let's go for that. So now we have an, a completely additional ability. We just have a new ability now. Okay, so that's the one we, that we had in the uh, the trials thing, isn't it? Okay, that's super nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, that's going to be a super good combo. Freeze them and then fireball them. Hello? Give me one of your arcana to shuffle and I'll let you choose one to keep from my hand. Uh, I'm game. It, it took it took our dragon arc, but we might get something better. And it is whatever we get is upgraded here. So unfortunately, we can't see uh, um, what it, what they do here. Oh no, we can. Oh no, we can't. No, we just got to pick them. I'll just go with that. Flame seekers. Let's have a little look. See what that does. Um, summon seeking uh, seekers that home into enemies and explode an impact. Uh, seekers now exp explosively bounce off their initial target and seek an additional. Oh my god, that seems like a really good trade. Thank you, sir. Thank you indeed. Let's take a look at our map. Where do we want to be going here? We've got all the way down here to go. Let's go down there first and see what we can find over there. That'll probably be the boss area if I was to take a guess. But that seems like it'd be really good. So we want to be right-clicking. So I think it's Q, right-click, and then E is going to be our best way to do it. So we found our boss. Um... We did still have one area to go to over here, so let's let's just check that out. Okay, no, it wasn't anything. So we're gonna be doing Q Q right click E. Q right click E. Okay, that seems that seems pretty good. Them seekers seem amazing. Okay, this guy seems like quite the pain in the ass. Let's just try and get our um, special arcana going. This seems amazing. The seeking thing seems so good. I'm sure do that to get rid of all of them. That seems like the best use of that time right now. Get him. They just reseek. It's so good. We've got such a good ranged build. Ah, damn it. I got hit by that ball. Look at that. It's so good. 
And we can just kind of leave these to do that thing as well. There we go, we got him. That was that was nice. That we've got a really cool build going on right now. I'm very much in love with it. Right, to the next area. So we should be onto the boss of this stage now. Yes, we are. Okay. This could be where we die. So we get some healing, which is nice. 75 healing. But then we've got to enter the ring with the boss, which I do not remember any of the patterns for whatsoever. Are you warmed up yet? Because I'm bringing the heat. Oh my god. She does the puns. So unfortunately, of course, right now, yeah, I got hit a lot there. I got hit a lot there. Wowie. Okay, she fires flaming shurikens. It's kind of annoying having... Oh my god. It's kind of annoying having so many fire-based attacks here because I can't really know what the fuck's going on with, with her attacks. Oh my god, she's so crazy. Seems we get a pretty good opportunity to attack her though. She's crazy. We're doing so little damage as well. Oh, okay, okay, that's new, that's new. That's new. Ah! It's kind of cool that she's using, like, Arcana that we're using against us. Oh my god, I'm so gonna die. Move out the way! She's going to do her little thingy again. I'm assuming it's when she gets like half HP and quarter HP. She does this like flaming thing. Yep, she's doing it. Okay, let's be careful. Oh my god, that's so much damage. You cheeky little bitch. Oh my god, 15 HP. No. I'm not taking my chances here. I'm getting the feck out of the way. No! She had one more attack! Damn! That was a super good first episode. Super cool first run, but yeah, we, we took it on the nose there. What noises is she making right now? Okay, we come back here. Oh, fuck it now. That was a nice run. I had some really cool stuff. And now we can use our little bits and bobs that we managed to pick up there, our gems, to buy some new stuff. Um... We can get an extra combo, or automatically enhances basic arcana, um, adds a chance to poison foes. That seems really good, we'll take that. Um, and summon a, to a torrent of fiery dragons, let's also take that, shall we? Um, and then we can go up here, we can take a look at our termi, and we can go with as special as exploding fireball, dragon arc, or we can go with this. What, what did we just pick up? Was it a basic that we just picked up? No? Which one was it that we just picked up? Oh, it was this one, Dragon Arc. Did we not just have that? Okay, but now we have it as a signature. I see, I see. Okay, fair enough. I didn't realize that was the same one we already earned, to be fair. Um, which is kind of a shame, but oh well. Either way, we can also go here to Mimic and go onto that one and get this paw. That's gonna be really nice because basically as soon as we get, um, as soon as we get in there, we're gonna be getting a upgraded basic, which I think we already have actually, yeah. Um, final slash creates a piercing wind that negates projectiles. That seems really useful to going into the next run. And this does this now. That seems insane. And we have that as a basic attack now. So that seems like a really, really cool set of attacks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are enjoying the whole idea of the roguelike roulette. If you want to get involved in voting on what games should be swapped out whenever we end up swapping games out, please make sure to join my Discord and take a look at the uh, YouTube notifications because there'll be some polls coming out on YouTube as well, I do believe. Um... But yeah, let me know in the comments if you're liking this game and if you're liking this idea for this series. I really hope you guys do because it's going to be a nice little fun way to bring some extra variety to the channel, play some games that you guys have suggested. I know the episodes are going to be further apart, like a week apart compared to my normal series, but you guys are still getting the normal episodes as well. It just means you're getting these as like a little added extra just to hopefully make your weekends a little more enjoyable as are, as are mine, as will mine be. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.